What is going on, guys? Rebel Trainer bringing you another week of our IBA VGC Season 1. That is right. We're back again. Uh, we are 4-0 on the season, which is quite remarkable, if I must say so, because we have faced some very tough opponents, and so hopefully you guys have enjoyed that. And none other than our opponent is Tay T. Chu, who is the coach of your Dashing Dittos. And so hopefully, if you guys are from Tay's side, welcome. So glad you're here. But hopefully you guys enjoy this battle regardless. Go show her love and stuff as well. Um, Tay's team is quite fierce and quite terrifying. Um, this is probably one of the tougher teams to prepare for uh, because of the way Tay battles typically. And that is because she normally runs Scarf Kyogre and Bandit Urshifu. So, um, all that being said, it is going to be very tough to break through those. Um, leads are going to matter very, very much. And how we respond to what she brings in. But... Um, her team consists of, as you guys can see on the six on the layout that I think she's going to bring, uh, Metagross, Moltres, Galar, uh, Flygon, Ludicolo, Togedemaru, Altaria, Shenotic, Toxicroak, Almaldo, Kyogre, and Urshifu Rapid Strike. Um, that's her G-Max. So, all that being said, uh, normally, I forgot to mention, Metagross is normally um, weakness policy as well. So... All that to be said, the six that I brought was to what I think we need to win and counter her team while still maintaining to the strong strategy that we've maintained all season. So, uh, we are bringing last year um, again this week. Last year is kill leader on the season. So, for our team and for the IBA, which is pretty cool. So, I figure, hey, it has to come. It has to at least make a show. Hopefully, get some kills uh, this week. But I'm not going to force it. I'm not going to force it. Uh, because Glashier does go in, but Glashier can also get walled pretty easily from some of her um, Pokemon. So, uh, Glashier is pretty much our normal set. A uh, couple nuances to it that we are going to hopefully utilize uh, this week. Um, obviously, one of them being Protect. Uh, Protect, I think, helps us out a lot uh, with her spread moves and different things that maybe want to try to take out Glashier. So... Um, that's, that's one thing that we're going to utilize a little bit different, a couple other things, but they're minor nuances. So you guys don't have to worry about it. Um, next up is our Jellicent, which is floating around somewhere. Mr. Pringles himself, Jelly over there, um, rocking the water absorb, obviously very good, very utilizable to Kyogre and it's water spouting that it wants to do. Um, uh, trick room, ice beam, shadow ball, strength, strength sap. So hopefully it does some work for us there. Next, we have our Vikavolt, which is making its season debut today. Um, Vikavolt is very good against her whole team. So, in fact, there he went. Um, not as fast as in real life there. But uh, Vikavolt is going to put in a lot of work. Um, we're rocking out with Energy Ball, Thunderbolt, Air Slash, and Bug Buzz with the Assault Vest. So, that obviously is going to help us out a lot. I'm really, really hoping. Um, some of the strategies I look to utilize with this, um, especially with just how she runs her team, um, I think will couple well. So I'm expecting Vikavolt to be a hero this week for our team, but we'll see if he can put in the work after all. That's why I nicknamed him Hero this week. Uh, next up is Serial, which I might add that getting a Kadabra is super annoying because when you trade it, it is evolved into Alakazam. So, uh, if you guys know how to trade in a Kadabra to a game without it being um, evolved in Alakazam, because you can't do it with an Everstone. I've already tried. Anyways, Kadabra, <laughs> Kadabra um, is rocking off with Knockoff, Psychic, Ally, Ally Switch, and Speed Swap in her Focus, Focus Sash. Uh, Kadabra one-shots the Urshifu, not G-Max. So, that is awesome. I'm hoping to be able to use a lot, utilize him. Um... If Tay decides to scarf the Urshifu, that's kind of a problem because we don't outspeed then. But it is something that we are going to look to hopefully be able to surprise Tay with. But Tay is also a very competent battler, so she may be aware of that and may bring scarf Urshifu. We'll find out. And if our Urshifu is scarfed, then Kyogre is not, which is great for us. Um, next up is Ben 10, our Koma O with Throat Spray, Overcoat, Clanger Souls, Drain Punch, or Spear, Flamethrower. Um, just helps us out a lot. Resist resists the Kyogre's moves and um, actually pretty well um, fights against um, Urshifu as well. Those are two things I'm most scared of. Uh, and then last but certainly not least is Hungry, our Hippolodon, which has put in work for the past two weeks with us. Um, Hippolodon has a chance to live a full-on water spout, not in rain, 
Um, so we're hoping that can also help us. Um, Hippowdon is rocking with the Rocky Helmet this week. Sandstream, Earthquake, Ice Fang, Rock Slide, and Yawn. Um, I debated ro running um, Assault Vest on it, but I figure with the ability to have Yawn, um, that will actually help us out a lot with the team as well. So that's the squad we're going to rock with. Uh, we're going to connect with Tay, and hopefully and you guys enjoy the battle. We'll see where the season comes after this week. So enjoy. All right, as you guys see, we're connected with Tay. We see the six that she's bringing. Oh, she does bring the Toxicroak. Interesting. All right, well. Um, Flygon. No Armado, but we see the Toxicroak. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, And we see Moltres over... No Metagross. Awesome. I'm A-OK -okay with that, honestly. Okay with that. Metagross was a whole problem in my mind. So let's see. Moltres, Toxic Croak. I got time. And Flygon. Okay. So the question is, what she bring game one? What are we gonna bring game one? Um I think she leaves the I think she leads the Togi and the Kyogre, if I had to guess, but we'll find out. We'll find out together. We said our good lucks have funds, so, well, we said had funds. Um, hopefully no luck's involved in this, but we'll see. We'll see. Come on, Tay. What do you got for me? Kyogre and Togi tomorrow, so. Makes sense. Togi. Goes for the Drizzle, which he gets at first because of speed. Then there are Sandstream comes off, which is huge. So my question is, my question is, with Hippowdon, does an Earthquake, does an Earthquake KO it? Does it? Um, Earthquake does 30 to 34. Vikavolt with Energy Ball does a lot. Um, she might switch out, which is fine. I think I just stay in and I just click Earthquake. We'll find out. Switch is out, okay. Into Moltres, okay. Focus Sash. Okay. Uh, safety Goggles. And Togi is sashed with Fake Out. Makes, it, makes sense. All right. Um, in all honesty, I'm just going to max here. Or no, I can't. I can't max. All right, I'm going to switch out. No. Nope. What am I going to do here? I am going to max. I'm going to airstream. Airstream the Moltres, and I'm going to rock slide, or am I going to fang? Actually, hold on. Hold on. Going to make this quick. Max air stream. Yep. Okay. And then rock slide. Not what I want to do, but that's what we're going to do. Does not max. Interesting. So does she switch out? No, she didn't switch. Because that would have happened already. So let's not miss the rock slide. Let's not miss the rock slide. All right. What are we going to see? What are we going to see? Air Slash into Hippo. Okay. 
That's fine. Iron head into hippo. Interesting. So he's really going for the flinch. Rocky helmet comes off. Okay. Surfer mode, which I don't know what that does specifically, but I don't like it. This is a really special attack. Okay, special attack. So we know we're faster, or no, we don't know we're faster. Um, okay, Moltres had air slash iron head. Okay, Urshifu. Okay. Honestly, I'm okay with this. Because now I can do this, and now I can just click Rock Slide. Is that what I want to do, or do I want to yawn? Let's yawn the Urshifu. Just in case this goes really, really south. Honky. Rocky helmet. Alright, so Shuji maxes the Urshifu, which is fine. Um, I completely expected that. I don't know what Urshifu is going to go for. It may try to target down my... Um... Okay. Okay. Fiery Wrath. Again, this is fine. Um, Fiery Wrath is going to hurt, but I think I just Earth Rock Slide here. Fiery Wrath. And we saw Guard as to, to something. Something it has. We're not out of this yet. Not out of this yet. So we see the drizzle. I know it's going to be faster. But I need to get rid of... I need to get rid of Kyogre. I need to get rid of Kyogre. Can't miss. Cannot miss. Goes for wire spout, which is fine. Slipnir does not live that as well as I hoped. Fiery Wrath comes off. Yikes. All right. We 
We do get the Trick Room off. So I know I'm the fastest thing. And Kyogre can't touch us if it's Choice Scarf. It literally cannot touch us. Be Choice Scarf. Be Choice Scarf. This is important information right here. Yep. Okay. It won't be fun, but we we win here. We literally win. Two, four, six, seven. Yep. Okay. Whew. That was that was an intense moment right there. I can tell you this much. Uh, water spout gets what eight moves? It's used two or three already. Yep. Literally just going to eat that up. Max of eight. Okay, so it's gonna have to struggle at some point. Okay. Alright, game one. Was not pretty. Was not pretty, but we got what we needed done. Play with the same rules. Did you just say? Alright. Um, I think I lead with the same thing. I think I just leave with the same thing. I don't see where I don't bring Jealous in, honestly. I don't see where I don't bring Jealous in. Yeah, I think I do the same thing again. As crazy as it sounds, as, as close as it was, um, had Urshifu not guarded there, obviously that would have turned out a whole lot different. Um, I know with the Rock Slide plus the Air Slash or the Max Air Stream, that was not good getting into Berserker mode. So, obviously the timer was, was a little bit of a deficit there because I was rushing to get it all done. Um, had I just clicked... Well, no, because I didn't have to click Yawn on Urshifu, so that was fine. Oh, okay. Head in the game. Don't get overthinking it. That was a pretty solid strat, obviously, with the Scarfed um, Kyogre. That mattered. And she had to click that because of... Um, whatchamacallit. Alright. Obviously, she can fake out the Hippolyton.
Does she max guard this turn? I think she might. Which, if she does, I definitely want to get rid of the Toga Tomaru. So let's let's do this. She does. Okay. Let's see if we played this one right. She might max guard. She might not because of being turn one. We'll see how well this plays into her, her mode. We'll see right here. Helping hands, okay? Helping hands into what? G-Max Rapid Flow. Into Vikavolt, please. Okay, awesome. Get the Togi tomorrow down. Hangs on with Folk Stash. <clears throat> with the Max Airstream. Okay. Now my question is... Max Lightning obviously KO'd. <clears throat> Alright, Kyogre being here is a problem. Does my Max Airstream catch the Urshifu? It does not. It does not. It does not. Into Flygon. Interesting. Live. Live. Ah, doesn't live. Okay. Uh, um. Like of all, KO Togi. Um, Urshifu KO'd Vikavolt. Okay. Obviously, we're in the rain. Obviously, Flygon's kind of a problem. She's going to prioritize. She's going to prioritize, um, Jellison. Which is fine. If I need a trick room up, that'd be great. If I can get trick room up, that'd be great. Goes for earth power. Okay. See Life Orb, Earth Power, G Max Rapid Flow. That's fine. That's fine. We hit Trick Room up. We learned Flygon is Life Orb, which we probably already knew. Earth Power. So my move is Icicle Crash. 
the Flygon. And then we're going to Strength Sap the Urshifu. Withdraws. Okay. Which is fine. Gonna make a Drizzle. Good damage. We get Ursha food minus one. Surging strikes in the glass year. Okay. Okay. We should live. We should live. I'm going to protect here. Well, how many turns of Trick Room do I have? I got three more. All right. Yeah, I'm going to protect here. And I'm going to Shadow Ball the Urshifu. Good damage. Oh, it goes through protect. I gotta remember that. I gotta remember that. I knew that. Thunder. Nice. Um, I don't have enough to outlast this Kyogre, unfortunately. Um, I don't, but I can try to get rid of the Kyogre. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. Uh, doesn't hit three times. Okay, so that's that's good. Um, I have to make a note that okay, we're KO'd. Um... Jellison. Okay. Yep. So we only KO Togi. Yeah, because her three Pokemon were there. All right. Oh, this is fun. All right. Obviously, she led with the Togi and the Urshifu. Had I Max Lightning the Urshifu, the Urshifu would have been dead, and then it wouldn't have been a problem later on. Uh, Kyogre is a problem for Jellicent. So, I mean, that was a pretty powerful, powerful play for her. So, I think it would make sense for her to do that same lead. So, what do I do in response to it? Um, I think I lead... Can... Yeah, I lead... Slip near and um, Kadabra. And then I bring Ben 10 and Vikavolt. Because the weather I, I, in my mind just is not that big of a deal. Yep. So this was actually one of my best strats. So we're going to go with this. Um,.
And I can't be faked out by Togi, so that's important to note too. So, I think turn one. Yep, she does the same lead. Makes sense. All right. So, Glass Year versus Rapid Strike. I max, they max. Max Knuckle does some damage. Max Knuckle does some damage. Yes, that's exactly what I want her to do. Because I can speed swap next turn if I don't get this KO here. Awesome. Because Psychic plus close combat will get me pretty close to where I want to be. Um, if she pops my weakness policy. Yeah, she can't KO me. With close combat, Max Knuckle, she cannot KO me. So, with her activating my weakness policy, if that's what she does, plus Psychic, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting good here. Goes for the fake out. I'm in her focus. I can't be flinched. It's good damage. Goes for the rapid flow. Okay. Oh, into Kadabra. Interesting. Interesting. So I get my attack raise. Okay. Interesting. Good max guard there, which if she does, that's fine. Um, Air Slash is doing quite a bit. So is Bug Buzz. Um, I'm going to go for the Bug Buzz. Helping hand. Okay. I know it doesn't KO. Okay. We're sitting good. We pop that sass, so that's not a problem. We get the max quake off. My heart. Okay. Now the next question is, does Kyogre come in, choice scarfed, and make a problem for me? I am plus one special defense. I'm at what? 266? I'm at 64. I'm plus one. I'm maxed. It says it only does about 30%. And I am plus two. Max Quake is taking this out. That's what it says. Not with Helping Hand, though. And everybody's living.
Okay. 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 Oh, my heart. Plus three. Fly on. Okay. Now, Flygon has to choose. I'm going to protect here. Bug Buzz, Katogi. Miss? I didn't miss. Coming down to the wire. All right. I believe Flygon is faster. I know this was a bad move. Helping hand. Can miss. Doesn't miss. Okay. I got off. I flinched. Twenty seconds. Not maxed. Horse Viewer does over fifty percent. Rock Slide does a lot. Uh, my only chance is to clanger souls here, but Dragon Claw will, will pick up the KO. Might go for Earth Power. Goes for Dragon Claw. Yep, that's game. That's game. GG to Tay. GG to Tay. She didn't miss where it mattered, and she got the flinch. So that's that's a tough way to go, but mm. see, I'm a little salty about that. Um, is an understatement, but I mean, Tay played well. Tay played ex extremely well game two, and then she deserved that win in game three. So, um, GG to her, guys. Go show her love and support. No hate towards her. She played very, very well. Um, I knew what most of her sets were going to be just because that's what she normally brings for the four or five of those mons. But it is what it is. So GG the Tay, she brought an outstanding team. She got rid of my Kadabra, which was huge. Um, yeah, so I should have brought that game too. But anyways, GG the Tay. Uh, guys, go show her love and support. I'm your coach of the Renegades, the Roots. And hope you guys have a wonderful day. Talk to you later.